Hello, everyone. Welcome to a special edition of the Imperial Holonet. I'm JD123. Arabian Nights. I mean, no. miracle. <laughs> Arabian Nights, <laughs> like Arabian days. <laughs> no fool of his guard. Last commentary is already off to a great start. Of good ways. That's right, folks. We're doing Aladdin. We are doing our commentary of pretty much the movie <laughs> that is my childhood, summed up in one movie. Yes, this movie, uh, funny enough, I actually saw a long time ago back at a, at a neighbor's house. So I've, I have a little bit more history with this movie. Oh, yeah. I mean, this, this stuff, this movie is my childhood. It, it's my childhood in a nutshell. And funny enough, I don't talk about this a lot, but if you get to know me, like, really well, you'll find out, like, I have a love affair with, like, all stuff, Middle East stuff. Like, I love the politics, the history, the culture. Like, I love studying that area. And th that was something that developed when I was, like, 13. Huh. So, I've always been kind of suspicious of the fact that this film might have been the one thing that got this to me. Because Aladdin was my childhood. Like, it was my first major fandom I was a part of. Really? Like, I, I got Aladdin toys. I got Aladdin t-shirts. I had a Jafar costume as a kid. I had a... I had one of the little cool little snake staff toy. <laughs> Funny enough, yeah, that's my that. that's my experience with the uh, Transformers franchise. Sadly, yeah, um, it was everything. Genie, genie little bottle. Um, what did you get? The, did you wait? Tell me, you got you had the lamp. I had Jafar music. I had the lamp. Yay! Good, you had the lamp. That yep. sort of thing. So yeah, this movie, and of course we'll get into it, but this movie has a lot going for it. This It's well-rounded in pretty much in many ways. Yeah. So, uh, you ready, shall, we get, shall we just dive right into this, Joel? Well, Cole, I just gotta ask, do you trust me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's begin. Um, get everything lined up to zero 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 on your DVD and press play right about now. It takes in five seconds to download. Okay, and we have the digitally master for optimal performance. I, I got the Disney logo. I'm using an old. All right, then we may have to. You have IHX. Nah, oh, I, at the I'm, 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 I'm at the intro now. They're starting it up. Walt Disney Pictures Presents. Are you at that part yet? Hang on. I'll, I'll pause. Tell me when the logo Aladdin shows up. No! Great. This is, this is exactly how I wanted to start a commentary. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Uh, just tell me when the Aladdin logo shows up. Okay, there's the a Disney logo. Oh, wait, that's the Fan TV or experience. Hang on. Tell me just when the Aladdin logo shows up and I'll press Although, it. You know, the gold one with the fire? Yeah. Okay, there's the Disney logo. Okay. You going to fire yet? I'll get in get there. Which also a classic Walt Disney Pictures. Can't start up a movie without that. And here's the fire. Okay, tell me when the Aladdin logo shows up. Walt Disney Pictures presents... Aladdin. There we go. Okay, there we go. I think we're pretty lined up. And here's the first song. Yep, Arabian Nights. This is probably one of my least favorite songs. Not to say that it's bad, it's just... It's pro probably because the reason why it never stuck out for me is that it it's not that t it's not tied into the main story. It's This is basically kind of the prologue. Well, there is a theory that is kind of pretty much canon in terms of the deleted scenes that the genie is actually the storyteller. Really? Well, he is full of, well, in fact, they are, he is both voiced by Robin Williams. Right. So oh, oh, is the merchant voiced by Robin Williams? Yeah, the merchant's voiced by Robin Williams. Oh, I didn't know that. That's amazing. That would be interesting. Maybe, he, maybe <laughs> the, let's make it, maybe there's a fan theory that maybe the merchant is, uh, the genie years later, once in a different time. Because he had, he does have a blue suit. Well, a deleted ending with pretty much the merchant turns into the genie. I would have liked that a lot better because this would have made this tie together a lot better. Uh, yeah. 
Because this is the one thing that's kind of strange. I, I guess. I didn't ever bother me as a kid. I just thought, you know, oh, you know, just the merchant telling his story. Hang on a minute. I got to pause it real quick, Joel. Okay, paused. Where are you? No, hang on. But He's saying, welcome to Agrabah, boys. Yeah, I know, but uh, the problem is <laughs> that my subtitles decided not to work. Oh, no, that's, that's awful. All right, let's see. Let's see if this works. There you go. Okay, press play now. Yep. Welcome to Agrabah, City of Mystery and Enchantment. I always thought he said Jasmine for some reason. Just the way he's pronounced yeah. that word. Here we Jordan. Okay, so they are in somewhere near Iraq. All right, so um, we're about to wind up. Uh, so, yeah, this is the only strange part of the movie. I get that this is a way to tell a story. It's kind of like similar if you've ever seen the Lone Ranger movie as much as I don't like that movie. It's a similar thing. And I think both suffer from this because this is kind of this is a strange way to start a Disney movie. I, I guess I'm too blind by nostalgia to see this. Like again, this is if you're a fan of Captain Logan, this is my '89, except probably better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably better. Exactly. Like, like this film is my Batman '89. Like I collected every single Aladdin for years. Yeah. It once changed the chords of the young man's life. Yeah, if the genie was this guy, this probably would have made it tell you a lot more. Like it's like I said before. You ever wonder if this is the genie's real form before he became a genie, or like that would be a very interesting theory. And that's and we'll get into this one as the movie continues. But the genie's backstory and also the Cape of Wonders is kind of we. It's really an unknown and really something we don't get a lot of development with oh, throughout the is, film. Here he is. Here he is. Here's my favorite character. Yes, here is Jafar. Jafar was like, I don't know what about Jafar got to me, but he was like my favorite Disney villain. And he still is. He's in like my top three. So probably they, number two. So anybody who uh, who has watched Aladdin think that Jafar would make a great ASMR maker? I, I, I don't know why I think that, but I think he'd be great. That's a different discussion for another he's time. He's quite powerful. Yes. Like, why do you think I always like to make him Maleficent second in command for a reason? Yes. I mean, he's not powerful as Maleficent. I think Maleficent can still kick his butt. Oh, well, yeah. Well, I'd debate that because he is, he technically, by the end of this movie, becomes the great the greatest sorcerer of all time, so. Well, hey, yeah, well, I, I think his ego gets to him and Maleficent got yeah. a little bit more. Yeah, Maleficent's a little more. Grounded. And here's the big jaguar. It's a jaguar head, right? I thought the lions. Uh, maybe. I don't know. What it, I don't know. That's a good question. Also, by the way, what? hated this boss battle in Kingdom Hearts. I did too. Also, speaking of which, uh, the Cave of Wonders is something we don't get a lot of a lot of backstory with. Do you think that's something we necessarily need to get, Joel? Not really. They kind of just make it obvious this is the man bland of mystery and magic. We got a talking parrot already, so exactly. See, this is a magical world already, so I don't think we necessarily need a backstory for this. I could see some people saying that it's a very that it's plot device more than anything. I mean, it is a plot device, but it's a pretty fun plot device. Oh yeah. Also, the one thing about Kingdom Hearts that I always find funny with this is that they never really make the uh, Cave of Wonders consistent. It does it. What do you mean? Every time you enter there, it always has a different layout. Oh, uh, that's right. The first one, I think, was the hardest layout. Yes, the Kingdom Hearts 2 had a much easier layout. And now we, there's the whole concept of the diamond and the rough. Uh, so what did uh, far rank for you as, like, your favorite villains? That's a good question. He'd probably rank pretty high up because I lo I loved what they did with him in Kingdom Hearts One. That really made me think of him as a as a pretty cool villain. They made him. I don't want to say he's important to the overall story, but they gave him a presence. Yes, they did. That's why in my series, I, I go fanboy for him and give him bigger presence. Yeah, give him a story arc. I, I wonder how Jafar came to know of the Game of Wonders. That's a good question. Maybe they'll do that in the live action Jafar movie. Yeah, maybe. I got a feeling they might go into the whole Cape of Wonders and the genie portion and the Jafar part a lot more in a live action. Would you like to see that as long as they don't butcher like it, like Maleficent? 
But I don't know what happened there. Uh, I don't know. It would have to depend. Part of me doesn't want to see another Aladdin thing without Robin Williams, even though we kind of did get that with Kingdom Hearts, which well, we is We are getting fine. a Genie prequel, I think. Are we? If that wasn't confirmed, then that's like the big rumor. And here everybody is one of the... Here is people, the diamond in the rough, and we and we cut, and we we start him with him stealing a thing of bread. I like Aladdin. I do too. He was always the op- optimistic portion. I, that's the one thing that Kingdom Hearts I didn't care for, is he's a lot less optimistic there. Well, that's just sort of the problem with Kingdom Hearts. It, he nobody, none of the Disney characters really have character. Yeah, well, hopefully Kingdom Hearts 3, I'm hoping. Maybe. Sorry about the beef. You're beeping in the background. Don't know what's going on there. You're only in trouble if you get caught. Oh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I like this song coming up. I do too. I don't know why, but I always think of Doctor Who when I think of it. What, what is this song called one again? Song? Uh, one Jump. Yeah. I feel only I care for. That's everything. Where do they get those fish? There's a, there's a river somewhere. If they're in Iraq, then they're near the Tigris River. That's, oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh, dear. Street rat, street rat, what? Just a little snack, guys. <laughs> what this was like a hundred... Well, have you heard that weird theory that Agrabah takes place in the future? What? Yeah, this takes place in like some sort of post-apocalyptic future, and that's why the genie knows everything about technology and stuff. That would be very strange, because that's clearly not what it wants to be. <laughs> nah, I just always got the feeling the genie could see the future, he just knew stuff. Well, he's a genie, he has cosmic powers. That's right. Also, these, uh, guard guys are in that little TV series. Oh, yeah, uh, I forget the guard's name. Imagine how much. Imagine if uh, if Aladdin really did get caught. Imagine how much his prison sentence would be. I I don't know. Because he's destroyed so much stuff, he would be probably charged for. Well, he's probably been doing this. For, it seems like he's been doing this for a long time. So it's like they exactly. know. Exactly. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch! That has to hurt. We idiot. Yeah, these these guards are really idiots, but it's charming in a way. Because this is a Disney movie, and this is the classic startup of a Disney movie. Well, kind of. Mm-hmm. One hop ahead of the hump. One trick ahead of disaster. Scoundrel. But how much faster? And here is the uh, foreshadowing to the uh, to the carpet. Yep. Crazy Hakeem's discount fertilizer. <laughs> Ethnic. Also, well, speaking of which, the merchant guy we see in the beginning is an asshole in Kingdom Hearts 2. Oh, uh, yeah. He's yeah. in Kingdom Hearts 1 briefly. Oh, yeah, that's right. Is he? Where? Yeah, he, he, you have to do things in the right order. You can buy stuff from him. Oh, gotcha. I think I could be wrong. That's weird. I forgot the merchant was in Kingdom Hearts 2. I mean, that, that throws that theory out of the water. Yeah. And this is where we get to see that Aladdin isn't just a self-absorbed yes. guy. He actually has a heart. Mm-hmm. This is a good startup because this allows this allows our character to yeah. This allows us to know that our character is relatable and nice. Oh, poor Abu. Abu's a kleptomaniac, you know. Yes, he is. Imagine if he had a voice. Who do you think? Who would Abu be voiced by? Well, he had the voice. Oh, that's right, but. If if he actually spoke a lot, who would he, who would you think he'd sound like? The guy who voices him now? I don't know. <laughs> See, a lot is smooth. Mm-hmm. Well, except for there. I assume that's mud, right? Oh, right. Yes, yeah, mud. Hopefully. Worth a street rat. Oh, uh, that's with a horse with two rear ends. Uh, here comes another. Here comes the first ballad of the movie. 
from here. Oh, yeah. Riff Raff. Street, Street Rat. Rat. I, I don't, don't buy So, that. in the original take, they were going to have his mom be a part of the movie. Yeah. Have you ever seen some of those old takes? I might have. I, I remember them saying something about his mother. That's or that his mother, or that his mother had passed away. And in the Broadway version, there's like three of his friends. That's the other of... thing. We don't see him hang out with a lot of uh, other people except Jasmine and Jeannie. And Abu. He's best friend's a monkey. But strangely, that doesn't really hurt the movie. No, 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 that's fine. He's a loner, kind of. Kind of, but he's also a guy who has... He has, a char- he has enough character to allow him to... To interact with people naturally. And what was this princess guy's name? Prince Ahmed. Ahmed. Is he, wait, the, uh, no, I'm not going to make that joke. Uh, the Sultan. I like the Sultan. I, love I did too. He, did, he was also the voice of, he, did, he played Santa in Fred Saves Christmas. Huh. And there is Raja, who also is in Kingdom Hearts. The Sultans isn't in Kingdom Hearts either. True. Boy, they like they shrunk Agrabah in Kingdom Hearts. It's just Jasmine, Jafar, and Aladdin, the genie. And here is one of the a very beautiful Disney princess, Jasmine. I like Jasmine. I think she's probably one of the best of the Disney princesses. I think so. Right behind Belle for me. Yeah, me too. Especially in the nineties. Yes. Well. Okay, that's the other thing that uh, this movie. The fact this entire um, movie could have been solved is assault and just changed the law. Exactly, and the other thing is we don't get enough. We don't understand why this law is so damn important. It's tradition, dang it! I know it's tradition, and I get now. I get what he's saying here. It's not only the law. I'm worried about you because I want you to be safe. I get that, but he keeps. But he. But throughout the movie, it's always around the law. I think I like a little. Throw a, light, a, a good couple of lines, kind of easily fix that. It's tradition. <laughs> you can't just change the laws willy nilly. Even though he just, even though by the end he changes the wall law willy nilly. So how? So Jasmine's never been outside the palace walls. That's gotta suck. Yeah, it's a big palace. All of her bed. You should have any. Daughters. Oh, but you don't understand the line? Uh huh? Oh, I, I'm just confused if you don't understand the line. No, I understand that. That's pretty much just him saying, God forbid you have. I know, have. I know, I know. I understand that. So, do you ever wonder how Jafar got his job? I assume he got it through the same way he deals with the Sultan throughout the rest of the, throughout the remainder of the movie. I ever wonder where Jafar comes from. Like, is he a royal? Is he poor? That's a good question. I heard or, that apparently in the Ottoman Empire, you could actually start out poor if you're well-educated and work hard. You could actually become a Grand Vizier. Yeah. It's also the same thing in, uh, back in the days of of uh, the Renaissance in Italy where you could be a uh, – you could be a very – poor guy but also get into an art artisan's guild and you could make it pretty well for yourself that's how it happened with leonardo da vinci right you ever wonder like why jafar wants to be salt i mean he's pretty much running the country through his hypnotism that's a good question i guess what did jafar just, administrate here i guess jafar just wants it all and that's clearly what uh, clearly by the end that's clearly what the uh point is that is true he wants it all. He wants it all. Also, this is another instance of na- a magical world because he uh, obviously has magic. Now, now, here's something that always confused me. Jafar wishes to be the greatest sorcerer on Earth, right? Yeah. Right in. But he clearly knows magic, so is he not a sorcerer but just knows tricks or what? Uh, is this supposed to be this world's version of alchemy? It probably is. I mean... He has a because, lab. Uh, al- I mean, alchemy can be taken in a bunch of different ways. I mean, Full Metal Alchemist in this movie. I mean, alchemy has been really... It's been really... What am I trying to say here? It's been really... 
tampered with throughout the years, and it's really it can be very much different things. So I guess maybe he maybe he is a sorcerer, but he's only an alchemist. It's possible. I mean, you don't see him blast people until he gets that makes that wish. And in Kingdom Hearts, he doesn't make that wish, but he blasts people. But that's he's more of a sorcerer in Kingdom Hearts than he is in here. <laughs> That's how I write him, at least in my Kingdom Hearts series. Kind of just makes it easier for me. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that that is confusing. And if he was a so if he was a sorcerer, couldn't he just give himself cosmic powers? No, because I think cosmic powers are like next level. Sorcerers can only do so much. I guess. But he is the greatest sorcerer. True, but I think there's like a dip. There's like a difference. Yeah. The monkey. Again, another another force. This is good ingenuity help. here. Yes, this is. Get the monkey to swim. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. Yeah. You told me you weren't thinking that. Yeah, I probably was. Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah. And here comes the moment that starts this movie. Really starts this movie fire up. Pot. No fire pot and brass or silver. Sugar <laughs> dates. Sugar, sugar dates and figs. Yummy. Pistachios. I like, how, I like how amazed Jasmine is at all this stuff. Well, when you're inside a palace for years, I, mean, I know, but it really, it really comes, it really feels natural. All that. So, why does Aladdin fall for this one out of all the other women he's ever seen? There's something you gotta ask yourself. True love, I guess. It's the hair. It's gotta be the hair. The hair, man. It's the hair. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's the thing. Maybe the reason he doesn't have any friends is because he's been screwed over a month before. Yeah. So maybe this is just the first strike out. Only, oh, oh wow, she's gorgeous. Mm. I think it becomes a lot more than just she's gorgeous. I can get some from the salt. <laughs> oh, Lord. Again, a lot of it's very smooth at the first half of this movie, though the second half is a bit more questionable. Yeah. Sadly, yes, she is my sister. Well, when you, get to, when you get a genie, you get a little over your head. Indeed. She thinks the monkey is the sultan. <laughs> this is actually really smart. Mm hmm. <laughs> what you guess, and that's. But no harm done. Now come along, sis. Time to go see the doctor. Oh, hello, doctor. How are you? <laughs> Not that one. Come on. Ah, uh, poor boy. He's a klepto. Total klepto. Oh, I probably remember what that what that meant. Kleptomania. I don't. I don't hear that word used often. But I don't, the funny thing is, I know it from uh, Mass Effect. Your lab looks so much bigger than it does in the next time you see it. Yeah. And it looks like it shouldn't even fit in this palace. I think it's in one of the towers. I would think so. Reveal to me the one who can enter the cave. I like this. See, that's my thing. Like, how much magic does he actually have? That's the thing that we really don't know. I guess he's only a magician with cheap parlor tricks. Maybe. Poor Iago. Speaking of which, even though I don't like Return of Jafar, I like what's done with the Iago there. Oh yeah, that that's that movie's all about him. And of course. What do you make of Aladdin and Jasmine's relationship in the movie? Um, I like how it evolves. Mm -hmm. It feels na and it feels natural, which is which is one big plus I'll give this movie. It knows how to write relationships. Mm-hmm. Well, at least for the nineties. For the nineties, yes. Oops, like... And she's obvious, and obviously he keeps falling for her because she's a lot more than what she seems. Right. That's supposed to be. I think that's supposed to be the. That's the big tagline of the movie. Everything is more than what they seem. So is this Aladdin's place, or is he just? Or no, is this his place? place. That's his place. Cause that's the view of the palace. 
Oh, that's right. So is Agrippa just a city-state or a country? That's a good question. What exactly? I always got the impression it was a city-state. Yeah. Maybe this takes place back in the ages of old. You don't think? You think? <laughs> it takes... I just don't think it takes place in the 1800s where you got cheap... Otherwise, people would have guns. Yes. Imagine Aladdin with guns. And of course, there's the whole trap thing. Hashtag, get on it, Michael Bay. <laughs> oh, God. That's oh, what... no. I ran away and I'm not going back. The dialogue for the, the dialogue is, is pretty good, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's great. That's, that's awful. Now, I have to bring this up. He says that he gets this whole line of that's that's awful, but is so quick to be to the whole marrying thing later. What do you make of that? I don't know. What what, what do you mean exactly? Well, he's so quick to want to marry her, but to have her forced to be married to him with the whole prince thing. I know that kind of changes, and maybe that's him getting in over his head. That's right. I, that's right. I can get at it. Oh, they're after me. They're after you. Do you oh, here is one. Do you trust me? Titanic. Yep. Do Doing it before Titanic was cool. Mm-hmm. Or wait, was this before or after? Was this before Titanic or was this after Titanic? I don't know. That's a good question. That I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look it up. All right. I have the same voice as Pete. It sounds like Pete. I would imagine so because Pete's have been around for quite a while. Well, Pete, yeah, Pete's wore that kind of thing, yeah. All right. All right. 1992 for Aladdin. 92? Oh, well, two years before I was born. No, no, yeah, this was before Titanic. Yep. So this was doing it before Titanic was cool. Yeah, Titanic was 1997. Sorry if you hear anything outside. I'm uh, uh, Yaga, Yaga got his feathers back. Maybe I'm, far surprised, as... I'm surprised Yago has as many feathers as he has. Maybe he's a magical parrot. Well, he talks. And people That's can, true. And people Joel's can't... like, he talks, dude. What do you think? People can't hear him. Dude, you know, it's funny. Nobody hears Yago talk until the end. Ever notice yeah. that? Yes. Everybody, oh, nobody, only. But what is the point? But what is the point of us not hearing him? That's the strange thing. Maybe but, he's a bird that Jafar turned magic, turned into a talking. Or he's the person who got turned into a bird. Yeah. Although, in Return of Jafar, they do say that he was just a regular bird squawking. So, so, that, so why is it a big deal that we don't hear him? Maybe because that would just blow Jafar's cover? Maybe sorcery is like black... Maybe sorcery means get you hanged. Or maybe talking parrots will get you hanged. That too. I mean, Raja doesn't talk. Do they ever, ever talk in the... In the... Uh, in the show? Who? Raja. Does Raja talk on the show? I don't know. I haven't seen the show in years. I have only seen one episode of the show. Yeah, we turned you far. Episode one, the pilot. Oh yeah. Uh, no, Raja never. No, Raja never speaks on that. Okay. Which is why I think Return of the Jafar doesn't work that well, because it obviously feels like a TV series. Oh, it, it's the pilot. It's unequivocally the pilot of that show. And it's slow as can be. Well, you never make a movie into a TV pilot. Exactly. But I love Clone Wars. That was a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> I like that movie more than most people. Oh, yeah. I like that movie, too. And, of course, this is there are memes all over the place of uh, people wanting to be like Aladdin. That say, when you say she was worth it and you went through all that trouble and, ah, she was worth it, that's when you know you found the right guy. Yep. Don't worry. I'll never see her again. 
Okay, so yeah, this law apparently is a big thing. Yep. She deserves a prince. I'm a fool. You're only a fool if you give up, boy. You know what's funny? Jafar is kind of at fault for making Aladdin into what he is through all this. Yeah. He, he uh, Jafar led to his own undoing. That's how most villains are. Yes. Also, I don't know how Jafar maintains to have all his teeth after all of this. Well, that's that's makeup, I think. Is it? Yeah, when he rips off the beard, his teeth are normal again. That's what, that's the strange part, but I guess this is a cartoon, so I can let it be. I I think it's I can never tell if this was like an enchantment or just makeup. He tears that stuff right off. I couldn't tell either. Yeah, that's the thing about this movie. Jafar's magic is a little inconsistent. Till the end, where it just like then it's just full on magic, magic. Yes. By my Kingdom Hearts series, I just say he's a sorcerer. He can do the zap zaps. Yes. Not as powerful as Maleficent, of course, but still. Yeah. Also, I love this world, Aladdin and Kingdom Hearts, in terms of just the story and the world. The first one. Yes. The second one, not so much. Second one is basically Return of Jafar, a little better, but not much better. Without Jafar, really. Yeah, but Jafar's in too. Yeah, but he's only like in the second visit, and he only gets like five seconds of screen time. Yeah, and you fight his genie for him without the lamp this time. Well, that's why I like Kingdom Hearts 1 better. There's more Jafar. <laughs> Touch nothing but the lamp. So, what, so is all that gold cursed gold? I don't... No, that's a good question. Why can't you touch the treasure? Exactly. Well, I would hate this if you tripped and fell face flat into it. Exactly. What happens if you trip and just fall? Are you screwed then? Or... Probably. That's why I got into the cave. That's why I would be terrified to go into the cave. I'd bump into something. Yeah. Like you... Oh, God. If you uh... touch it, don't want to touch it. Don't touch it. I like Jafar's line where he says, the people with the gold make the rules. Right. Carpet. Also, what's the carpet story? I, that's a good question. Enchant, it got enchanted to come alive, and then just got stuck. I could, buy, I could buy that. So, if nobody's allowed to come in here, then how do, does all this treasure get here? I guess it was made when the Cave of Wonders was created. That's true. Wait, Aladdin seems to have like this rich lore and history, it's like Middle Earth. Yes, except just not as much as it, just not as explored. I love how I love how much shit us this carpet is. I wish we got more of that throughout the movie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> have you ever seen the? Oh wait, no, you haven't. Never mind. I was gonna say, have you seen the California Adventure Aladdin show? You're like, well, wait, wait, no, you wouldn't. You don't live in California uh, like me. I don't live in California. <laughs> if Lo was here, then she'd probably say yes. Yes, that's true. So, Lo, have you seen it? Yes. Answer this question if you watch this commentary. I love how Abu can just take a line down and get some milk. But it's hilarious. I love how a line immediately goes to it's a magic carpet. I love how war this world is so magical that we don't even need to spend time dealing with. Wait, how is this possible? How can a carpet bite? I have no idea. Sad carpet, big carpet. Little ball of fur. A little ball of yarn. Oh, <laughs> oh that's terrible. I didn't know you were a Big Bang Theory fan. Yes, I love the Big Bang Theory. Oh, finally, somebody you liked it. I watch that show all the time. Oh, that's cool. Uh, map painting. I mean, just painting. <laughs> that's painting. Yeah, it's definitely painting. So is this. Yeah. This area, well, this is alluded to in the underwater sections, but we never see the actual pedestal where you put the lamp. Oh, yeah, I remember always falling and we get stuck in that area. Yeah, except the funny thing is, back when I played it through recently, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't done that. And, he, and Abu is just a, is a kleptomaniac. Yep, he, he... Well, to be fair, Abu kind of saves the day. If he didn't touch it, then Jafar would have gotten the genie's lamp, and then we were all screwed. That's true. So kleptomania saves the day. Yes, people, go out and steal shit. 
Uh, I'm just kidding, don't do that. No, no, no. Indiana Jones moment. Yep. I bet you if he had taken that thing off and then just sprang a trap. Infidels. Infidels. You have touched stuff for it's okay, so it's forbidden treasure. That means it's cursed. It has to be cursed. Oh, uh, this movie would not this movie would not be the way it is if it were made today. Just saying. Yes. Imagine shit's just falling down. That would be scary. Mm-hmm. This is like, I think it's like Disney's first... No, it's not their first big use. Being Beast was. Like, CGI incorporated stuff. Yeah. Because that's clearly CGI. Oh, yeah. So it looks so well integrated. It does look very well integrated. I love this scene. This, this scene used to scare ever... me as a kid for some reason. This entire segment used to scare me as a kid. Don't ask. I don't know why. If I had watched this as a kid, it probably would have scared me, too. That was an easily scared kid, so... Arpit, let's move. Oh, here we go. Now, this is a cool segment in Kingdom Hearts 2, and Kingdom Hearts 1. Oh, yeah. For, oh, yeah, I forgot you could traverse the cave and get out with everything crumbled. Now, I like that in Kingdom Hearts 1, it was the Cave of Wonders was where the keyhole was. Oh, yeah, that made total sense. Yes. <laughs> Start panicking! <laughs> Oh, wow, oh lord. That's a lot of lava. That's a lot of lava. Ooh, here, look. You get to see Clint. Like, uh, oh, look at those hands. That's cool. Oh, wow. Ooh, it's like the Cave of Wonders is dying. Yes. I wonder if it could have been summoned back. Maybe the... Ma yeah, I wish it back. That'd be interesting to see what happens. Like... Is was this like the last time the Cave of Wonder could ever come back? That's a good question. And of course, yeah, Abu saves the day. Yep. And this is why you don't trust creepy old men. Right. I like how he goes back to being Jafar's regular voice. Yeah. That fall would have killed them if, if the carpet had not saved them. Because in the carpet's skinny. Yes. Doink. Loop and it's dead. Maybe. It's dead. Probably. Maybe and maybe to come back in a future prequel. Maybe. Right. See, look, he rips it off. Even yep. teeth. Oh, yeah. So I guess uh, Jafar is bald. Groomed. He's real groomed. Or shaved, yeah. clean shaven. Minus the uh, shave. Minus the shave beard. Oh, dearest. What's wrong? The good news is that Aladdin is proactive. Oh, thank, oh, yeah, thank goodness for that. Uh, goodness for that. I mean, God forbid if we had just two characters sitting alone in a castle for a whole movie. Oh, yeah, who wants that? <laughs> oh, boy. To be fair, I wonder if it was a good thing that he had the lamp, or otherwise he'd have to climb or something, or he'd be just he'd stuck. Probably, he, he would probably be stuck there forever. A little Aladdin skeleton. Yes. Uh, I'll turn to add things. I want to make that Aladdin skeleton. That? Kind of oh, here we go, people. Here comes one of the, the best character of the movie. I'll introduce him when he comes out. Yep, the one and only. The one and only. Ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls. The ever incredible, ever majestic... Genie of the Lamp! Brought to you by the late Robin Williams. Rest in peace, good friend. Oh, that was so sad when Robin Williams finally passed away. Like, oh, I didn't... Yeah, it was sad. It was, that was a sad day. Uh, I think this is one of my favorite movies by him. I haven't seen Robin Williams in a lot of movies. The only other movie, is like, movie I can remember seeing him in is Dead Poet Society. You ever seen that movie? Yeah, I saw that movie. I, I've seen a lot of Robin Williams movies. I saw Dead Poets Society, I saw Hook, 
sell Jumanji. Uh, I wish they got him for Kingdom Hearts, but I don't know if he could have done dubbing well. Yeah, that's a good point. They, they got the actor who was in Return of, the, Return of Jafar. He's serviceable. Yeah, he's serviceable. But it's hard to write Kingdom Hearts fan fiction with the genie. Because you can't, you no know, captures Robin Williams. Exactly. Like Robin Williams. Which one? Was most of was most of this written or was most of this uh, ad libbed? Why it was ad libbed? Was it? Yeah, Robin Williams was like they gave him a script and like sort of like say, oh, it's sort of like Robert Downey Jr. You give him yeah. a script saying, okay, this is what we're heading for. You fill in the rest. Like there's a lot of like if you watch recording of Aladdin, you know that there's a lot of extra jokes that were cut. Yeah, I would love to see the Robin Williams cut of this movie. You heard about the the controversy over the genie? What about? Apparently, they paid Robin Williams in, like, scale, which is, like, sort of the cheapest thing you can do. And the prom- oh, really? and they And the promise was, you don't market this movie about the genie. But they marketed this movie totally about the genie. Oh, wow. That's why he didn't come back. He was mad at Disney. Well, he came back for uh, King of Thieves, didn't he? That's because they apologized, and I think Katzenberg or somebody left by the time. Or was it Eisner? Left by the time that happened. Yeah. That's probably why we didn't see him for Kingdom Hearts. Right. I think it was... No, it was... I forgot. Who was it? Uh, Harris, the never, You Never Had a Friend Like Me. Well, probably one of the best... The second best song in this movie. Mm-hmm. If you want to know what the first best song is, you'll see it in a little bit, people. Oh, well. I love this, seg- this segment of so. This is my favorite song, I think. It's so energetic and so charismatic. Can your friends do this? Can your friends do that? Can your friends pull this? A little hit. So, Genie, if you were to fight the Genie, he would be the most powerful person in the universe, probably. Unless it's Kingdom Hearts, but then again, to be fair, you, the Genie didn't want to fight you. Exactly. He was forced to. So, this is, this is the most colorful segment of this movie. <laughs> and you know what the, the interesting thing about this is? I buy, even though Genie and Aladdin have only known each other for like a couple of days in this movie, their relationship feels natural. Oh, yeah. I mean, but be feels... fair, the Genie hadn't met anybody for a couple thousand years, so. Exactly, but you could easily make him the recluse. That's true. So, what's done with them, it feels really, really good and really natural, and it really feels. If you want to get some depth into it, there's almost a tragedy to the Genie. He kind of covers himself up with humor. Maybe that's why he's exactly. so wacky. Because he's like, he's stuck in the lamp, and every time he gets out, it's like, I'm free for a little bit. I can just, you know, have fun. And that's Robin Williams in a nutshell, though. Well, he did suffer from depression, and that's why. Yeah, know. that's exactly. So, but I guess that's a good, uh, I can't kill anybody. So don't ask. Well, number two, I can't make anybody fall in love. And I like how Aladdin never asks that. Oh, no. I can't bring back people from the dead. Well, maybe he was about to. It isn't a pretty. Pi- it's not a pretty picture. I don't like doing it. I wonder where those rules come from. Like, who created those rules? That's a good question. That's the other thing. Like, we don't know much about the genie's backstory, which would be something interesting to that, that, which would be interesting. But without Robin Williams, I really don't know if I'd want to see it. Also, this is this is uh, this is another instance of Aladdin be really clever. Oh yeah. Oh, and there's Genie with his feet. It's sad that we never see Genie's feet in the rest of Kingdom Hearts. You're right. I still wonder how that summons works. With You're Genie. getting your watch just so sit down. <laughs> anyway. His arm inside the carpet. And you need someone who know, yeah. who's going to comedy like Robin Williams. Oh, yeah. For a role like the Genie. So, 
Is this the first time Jafar has ever acted up? Probably. It seems like it. That seems hard to that seems hard to buy. Well, he's good at covering his tracks. I mean, you can just hypnotize the Sultan and say, That's I true. did nothing wrong. But this might not be the first time he's ever screwed up. I'm going to go to the store real quick. All right. Yeah. I mean, it's possible. I, if it is, it's something that he has kept. It must have been very minor. Must have. But he seems like a smart guy. He does. He seems like a very resourceful guy. I think they found out the difference between Maleficent and Jafar. Maleficent's more upfront. She's more like she'll fire bolts of lightning at you and just go straight for the heart. Jafar's more of a backstabby kind of guy, sneaky, like a snake. <laughs> to the heart. Uh, uh, I, I, I see what I did there. Uh, <laughs> the Kingdom Hearts. Yes. But yeah, Jafar's definitely, he is the snake. You know, he's manipulative and, you know... Slowly yeah. get that, yeah. What if you were the chomp husband? No, Jafar actually has probably one of the more clever plan Disney villain plans. Yes, he does. And it would have been carried out if he hadn't fought in Aladdin. Yeah, I mean, and think about it. He's, he's, I mean, it shows his resourcefulness. One plan failed, but then Iago comes up with this other one, and then he goes with this idea. But then when he finds out that the, the, the lamp's still around, he goes back to plan A. Yes, exactly. Crush plot. I love the way your final little mind works. Yeah. Both laugh sinisterly. <laughs> so here I jump back to Aladdin and Genie. Is that how most airplane people look? No, I mean, not anymore. To be, great, never, to be fair, I've never been on a commercial airline. We do have male stewardesses in there. Yeah. Or male flight attendants. That's, that's, that's the part. Right? Uh, no, I never actually wish to get out of the KFC. And the thing is, that's a good that's a good amount because it helps us to see their relationship grow by seeing Aladdin be clever and just help <laughs> Genie be Genie. Hmm. Fair deal, so three wishes. I want them to be good. And this is also a really good thing he asked, what would you wish for? Mm -hmm. No one's asked me that before. Uh, freedom. Freedom. Phenomenal cosmic power. Space. I wonder what the inside of that lamp looks like. Well, they have a special on the DVD, and it's actually pretty nice. Poof, what do you need? Poof, what do you need? To be my own master. What am I talking about? Let's here. get real here. I like how, uh, what's the word? Genie is so humble. Oh, yeah. You ever think Genie was human before he became a genie? That's a good question. I wonder what kind of person he was if he was human. Well, that's the weird thing. Genie never turns... Oh, the turns... Pinocchio reference. Oh, yeah, that's funny. But that's the weird thing. Genie never turns into a person, but in return, Jafar, Jafar switches back and forth. Yeah, so maybe he was just a part of a cosmic people. Maybe. He's an original. He's a pure blood genie. Yes, he's a pure blood genie. <laughs> Oh, there's this girl. Wrong. Wrong. I think I don't remember. Oh, but Jeannie. She's smart and fun and beautiful. She's got these eyes that just and this hair and her smile. Right. <laughs> oh, there was the Kingdom Hearts logo for a second. Ah, ha, 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 ha. They predicted the future. Well, yes. uh, the thing about Aladdin's entry is he's kind Oh, here's a fun fact. Aladdin was a character in Full House. Was he? Yeah, he played DJ's boyfriend, Steve. Oh, was he? Yeah, that's him. I forgot, I forgot about him. You can I forgot that was him. That's interesting. Oh, yeah, and it always it weirded me out when I heard that. <laughs> I hear said Prince Wish. 
Latin does kind of sound kind of 90s-ish in some areas, just the way he talks. Yes. Especially when he goes on this whole tie right about how beautiful... No, or when he just says, well, there's this girl. That sounds like a high schooler. Yeah. Well, he kind of is. I wonder how old Aladdin is. I hear weird th- rumors like he's 16. I don't know. The fact that I'm older than Aladdin makes me feel weird. A lot of these characters are supposed to be older or younger than us. No, White's like 13. Yeah, but that, but when we were growing up. Oh, yeah. It's just weird now. Well, again, Snow White's 13, and she gets married by the end of that movie, so... I Is Snow White 13? That's what I heard. Oh, wow. Ran at 1340s time, so... At the Alpha, he's got the Alpha. But we're not there yet. Hang on, you're to your turban. We're gonna make you a star. Be- beast, there's Beast. Huh? Oh, you missed the Beast reference. Oh, I missed him. He's one of the little figures. Ah. Uh, problem with your daughter. Ah, uh, Gilbert. Uh, problem with your daughter. Oh, so Gilbert Godfrey does Iago is fantastic. Oh, yeah. Best cast. <laughs> oh. If, you, if, uh, if, uh, if I were the writers, I would have made Iago just at one point say, You fool! Why? Because there was a whole thing on Hollywood Squares. You know that's you know that show. Yeah, I've heard of it. Well, there was a segment where Gilbert Godfrey was on, and he kept fooling the guy, person when the questions were asked. So every time the guy got it wrong, he'd go, "You fool!" Ah, uh. it was always hilarious. Even though he wasn't the guy who started that, I forgot who the person was. I thought the little said that only a prince can marry a princess. I'm quite sure. Desperate times call for desperate measures, my lord. See, he can do this, but he can't, like, blast people to the end. Yeah, but the other thing is, apparently it doesn't always work. It seemed to work the most of the time. I guess it, well, except here. No, he, well, that's because he kept getting interrupted. Well, but not there. He said, but you're, but you're so old. Yeah, but see, he was going to again, but then... See, the Sultan's like, kind of a weak-minded kind of guy. Yes, so... So I'm sure his rule is benevolent. Yes. Dun, 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 dun. Friends Ali! So, I guess these are just people that the genie created. Well, in one of the deleted songs, apparently they're, they're all like animals and stuff. Nice, oh, okay. rats, bugs. Here's a question I have to ask. Can the genie create life? I don't know. I know he can turn life into other life. I mean, he turned a boo into a monkey. I mean, a, a boo into an elephant. That is that is the, that is the, that is the cheesiest smile I've ever seen. Ooh. I love this song. Have you ever had someone... Uh, never mind. What? I was gonna ask you if you ever had someone grab you by the legs and have you run. No, it'd be awesome, but no. Yeah, I don't know if I ever had that done with me. What? Prince Ali. Imagine if Aladdin just fell. Yeah, oh god. Look at those golden camels. Lovely <laughs> Oh, if I had seventy purple peacocks, fabulous area. <laughs> Isn't that a, that that? Uh, monkey, isn't that a reference to something else? The parade? The Thanksgiving Macy's Day parade? Yeah, yeah. Weak the knee. Here's the question I have to ask you, Joel. If you had a genie, what would your three wishes be? That's a good question. I don't know. Probably a personal wish, then a selfish wish. I don't know. But I always heard the every I don't know genies and other stories like you wish for something, but then there's always a backlash. Yeah, I'd be scared actually. Well, genie. imagine if you had this genie. Oh yeah. Well, no, 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 no. Pause, pause, pause. All right. Oh no, no, back, 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 back. Shoot. Where, where do I should go back to? No, just pause, pause. Sorry. Sorry, folks. Sorry, folks. I accidentally. No, go, go back, go back. Oh, me, go back. Yeah, play now. Playing. Is the door burst open? Yep, it's about to. 
Uh, there we go. We're, we're, we're at the same. We're around the same time. Genie went down a boot. Heard your princess with a sight, lovely to see. Oh, it's four, you're far. <laughs> I will leave my remote alone. Sixty. His cooks. I thought that said something else. That's probably just my dirty mind. Prince Ali. You know, isn't there a line that goes, "He's got slaves, he's got servants, and flunkies"? Oh, really? If that's true, then Latin is pro-slavery. <laughs> <laughs> well, they did make Song of the South, so... This is the same company that made Song of the South, so, you know. That's true. So I to see... Ecstatic. I wonder where Jafar got that staff. Maybe he made it. Maybe. I think he makes his stuff or steals his stuff. So wait, are we to buy that all the other suitors have been invited? Probably. I mean, this seems to be going. i been going on for a while. Yeah. Imagine if the carpet just fell. Mm-hmm. Because she couldn't carry the salt. <laughs> oh, that had to hurt. Mm-hmm. Just where did you say you're from? Uh, much farther than you traveled, I'm sure. Yeah. Try me. Uh, poor Yago. Okay, so Yago talks here. Well, yeah, well, he, the Sultan's not paying attention. I just caught the salt that the things flying around Iago's head was the salt and that's that's kinda cool. <laughs> Poor carpet. The other thing is in the cartoon and some of the T V shows, uh Aladdin has uh the Prince outfit on. Mm-hmm. But in the movies he doesn't. Yeah, sure, sure. Not. Nah. I love that. He said, nah. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Ooh, this is a bad scene. Yeah. Never <laughs> deciding a person's fate behind their back. Yeah, that's that's a smart thing to do. Yes. At least Javsman calls him out on it. Thank goodness for that. At least it's. I'll give it's this. It's treatment. This movie's treatment of women is actually pretty decent. It's not. Crying. It's still classic Disney era, so there's still some yeah. criticism that it could be made, but at least Jasmine has a character. I think this movie probably holds up in terms of the st stands the test of time better than some of the other ones. Yeah, Especially like uh, the pre Renaissance Disney movies. Yeah, before they started trying to do more with the female characters. But everything Disney, the like Snow White, Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, they all kind of are products of their time. Yes. <laughs> You can enjoy certain levels, but they don't stand up on the test of time as some of as these movies probably will. Right, Renaissance Disney Renaissance era movies, I think, will hold up better twenty years from now, better than those ones will. Except for as Fantasia, but that's a different story. Yeah, and uh, some of those uh, non-romance ones. Disney Tell her the truth. Hundred and one Dalmatians. Yeah. I think that can stay. Oh, was so Hunter on Dalmatians back, back in before the Renaissance? Yeah, it was the 60s. Oh, wow. I didn't remember that. Uh, let's see. Yeah. And this, this is a really tender scene between uh, Aladdin and the genie. Mm hmm. Gotta be smooth, confident, cool, and confident. How do I look? Like a prince. Saw up that line. He keeps that outfit in the TV show. Yeah, which is really strange. Princess Jasmine. Uh oh. It's any Prince Ali. And we're about to get one of the best songs, the best song in the movie, folks. The one that is quoted the most. It's not my favorite song, but it's definitely a good one. Oh. 
I like how his I like when his hair is. You can see part of his hair tipping out of the hat. Yeah. Hmm. The marketplace. Mm-hmm. I have servants who go to the marketplace for me. Yeah, I ain't buying it. Look at that face. Oh, uh, oh, Jess was just calling bullshit immediately. Mm-hmm. I guess not. Wouldn't you? Wouldn't be awesome to have a pet tiger <laughs> as a so pet? Talking about her. Wouldn't it be nice to have a pet tiger as your pet as long as it didn't maul you? That would be nice. You'd be like uh, Kevin, that Kevin guy. Yeah, except that tiger probably mauled him too. Yep. How did the tiger get domesticated? That's, That's a good question. This is where, I like how this is kind of addressed. Mm-hmm. How they address the whole deciding my fate for me. Right. Warning, warning. Warning, warning. <laughs> Every other stuff, shirt, swag, swaggering peacock. Mayday, mayday. Well, Latin Zoom. Pause off. <laughs> Be yourself. You're, oh, that's terrible, but that's great at the same time. Uh, you're right. <laughs> and thankfully, he had the carpet. Uh huh. <laughs> like you just go, whoa, 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 what do I do? What do, I do? You jumped off a balcony. Yeah. Without any context. Palace and see the world. Mm-hmm. Sure. And here is where a lead screws up. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, me. She just been smart. Yes. I love Jasmine and here comes people, the song everybody loves. Yes, the most quote, one of the most quoted Disney songs. A song that reminds me of so many other things. Reminds me of Doctor Who. Reminds me of Kingdom Hearts. Reminds me of uh, other you stuff. Oh, you the world. Maybe Force Awakens a little bit. <laughs> hey, let's do by Disney now. We're good. Tell me, Princess, when did you last let your heart decide? That's a great. That's a great lyric. Oh, uh, this is another kingdom. Well, okay, here's my question about this entire song segment that makes no sense. They go to Agrabah, then to Egypt, then to Greece, then to China, all in one night. Maybe the carpet can run like a mother. <laughs> they go through hyperspace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. Or maybe this is just a small world. A whole, a really small world. It's a small world after all. Oh. <laughs> well, it's Disney, so yeah. And the, hey, that's, that, that physically can't happen. They can't yeah. grab clouds. I know, I, that was terrible, folks. I made a really bad joke, anyway. Oh, this is doing Titanic before it was cool. That's, Titanic is basically Aladdin, but with minus the tragedy. Yeah, so wait, so Aladdin came first, right? Yes. Oh, wow, they are ripping off Aladdin. Have That's... you ever seen that other ripoff of Aladdin, uh, Thief and the Cobbler? No, I have not. Which is also, which was kind of Aladdin ripping it off, and then they ripped it off Aladdin, so it kind of a ripoff rip. It's a weird story. <laughs> See, they're in Greece. Hey, look, also, <laughs> Hercules. This is, this... Yeah, this is a Hercules reference. Before Hercules. Yes. Even though technically Aladdin and Hercules take place in the same continuity. Do they? They crossed over. Their shows crossed over. and. Oh, uh, okay. And you had Hayes and Jafar team up. That sounds amazing. We, oh, need, to do a, we oh. need to do a commentary on Hercules eventually. Oh, that movie. Oh, that, that crossover is amazing. I would also move on. Mm-hmm. This is before Mulan, I take it. Oh, probably. I wonder if that's in the same continuity, too. The beginning of the Disney shared universe. <laughs> I need the Disney Avengers, and then I'll be happy. And here's a, here's a really smart thing she said. It's a shame. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Oh, 
he could have just ended it. <laughs> I just hope that you would have bought into the lie. He just keeps digging that hole. Dig it, fit. Dig it, dig, dig, keep digging. And we'll get to this later. And Barry Allen or the uh, Johnny Hunter 22 on Twitter pointed this out to me. That at the end of the movie, wouldn't Jasmine be pretty pissed at Aladdin for lying to her? Well, he did just save the day by the end, so. Yeah, I, can, for I, I feel the need to bring that up because I can see some people making that argument. I mean, she saved the day from getting it with Jafar, so. Yeah. I mean, I love Jafar, but I don't know if I'd go that far. Yeah, I don't know if I'd want to be with Jafar. Palpatine, on the other hand, I mean, you know. Oh, Lord, Joel. Kidding, kidding. Now I know you. Now Thrawn's a different story. Yeah, obviously, of course. By the way, at the time of this, Thrawn has gotten a canon novel. Yay! And he's in Rebels. Yes, but I'm back on point. And here is another smooth good night, my handsome prince. Sleep well, princess. And this carpet is so smooth. Mm -hmm, he knows. He knows. At least she had her first kiss with Aladdin before she did with Jafar. Thank goodness. <laughs> because and if you are a Final Fantasy X fan, you know you probably have some bad memories. Uh oh. <gasps> Ooh, that I don't want to know. Ah, like a bad. Duh. Ooh, Acrobat looks huge from up here. Yeah, Acrobat does look huge. Don't. Uh oh. How do they? How do they manage to get a elephant like that? I don't know. I'm afraid you, Prince of Boo Boo. I love that that Jafar keeps calling him Prince of Boo Boo. Mm. Oh yeah. And they just kill him. <laughs> they just throw him in a river. With yep. Is this Tigris? I don't know. They never say where the river is. Is this the Nile? Could be. Wait, no, wait. It might be the Nile because Jeannie just said at the end, wish for the Nile, wish for the Nile. It could be the Nile. The Tigris, the, the Euphrates, the Nile. One of those great rivers. Yep. Fun fact, if you want to build yourself an empire, first build a city near a river. That's key. Yes. All the great cities start near rivers. Rome, Baghdad. Well, Rome kind of fell through its own idiocy, but that's a different story. Ask Ian for that. True, but in a, in a couple of good centuries. <laughs> in a couple of good centuries? Yeah. You know, uh, Nero and Caligula might not have been their best years, but... Augustus has been pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Up scope. Uh, that's, that's a reference to... Das Boot, I think. What is that? I might be mixing up the titles. It's a, it's there's a movie about a German sub, U boat. Oh, nice. Or got yeah, or American sub hunting German U boats. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm getting kind of fond of you, kid. Oh, I love that one. No, I want to pick. It's like picture. I said, they feel like genuine friends. They're best buddies. They're BFFs. Yeah. My guess is it's probably, probably because this is the first master Genie had that actually he liked. Exactly. I have a feeling Genie's other masters weren't as nice. Yeah. I've chosen a husband for you. Or speechless, I see. A fine quality. and Oh, oh wow. That's, uh, that, yeah, that's a terrible one. How the, in the, uh, at, that's hilarious. You still want the stroll? Yeah, I'm just watching, sorry. He is obviously, obviously lying. And bam, smashes. This reminds me of, this is kind of like the same plot to the third Cinderella movie. How, oh yeah, the third Cinderella movie. I never saw that one. I have seen one and three and two. I only saw one and two. And now he talks. Now he talks. I like this scene where Jafar gets arrested. See here, look, he uses magic again. He has that... He must be... Uh, see, I think he's an alchemist. Before he's... 
Can I just go full on sorcerer in my cage series? Like you get his like his staff and hey, blast. Oh, well. what? You might as well just go on full on sorcerer. Yeah, it just makes, it makes sense. Have his staff can blast stuff. Oh, they just can't tear themselves away from each other. Oh, they're in love. They're in love. Yeah. L'amore. Praise Allah. Praise Allah. They would never be able to get away with that line. Uh, sadly, this would be a very interesting time for, uh, if they release a line during this time. Well, we'll have to see what the live action one coming up. Yeah, we'll have to see what the live action. I think in live action, I feel like you can get away with it more. I think so. Sadly. Would you say that Aladdin, Beauty and the Beast, and Lion King are like the three movies that will stand the test of time for a yes. l- no matter what? Or at least for the most part? I look a little Arabic. I believe so. Or Persian. That's to true. some degrees, I'd even argue that Mulan can to, to a degree. Yeah, I'd say that. It's nothing more than that rugged urchin Aladdin. What Maybe. was your first clue, Jafar? Maybe rescues down under as well. I haven't. Oh, look, look at the flamingos. Sultan. And here comes character flaw because of reasons. Conquering hero. I'm going to Disneyland! <laughs> so that's what the genie did when he got free. Maybe, now, maybe, maybe that's how, maybe Disneyland is started in this time climb because of genie. Maybe, look, maybe it's Disney, an Aladdin maybe, script. Maybe Disney is Walt Disney. Maybe, Dis, maybe genie is actually Walt Disney. Maybe. People probably just turned it off for me saying that. But it's a possibility, people. That's all I'm saying. Don't underestimate the power of Walt Disney. I don't think he's dead. I think he's just waiting to return. Maybe his head really is in a jar. Maybe. That man with a genius. I mean, he's the same guy who wanted to turn Epcot into a city of the future. An actual city. Oh, yeah, that's true. Before it became just a weird kind of theme park. He can lie to everyone else. Well, I was going to feel left out. Now this feels like an actual written line instead of a Robin Williams. Yeah. Character flaw because of reasons. Though it actually does feel legit. Yeah, it does. I, I, I buy it. Now here's a fun fact. There are actually going to be two Jafar songs. Original ones. Oh, really? Yeah, one of them was from the early, early draft. Called Humiliate the Boy. Which is basically they have Genie do a bunch of humiliating things to Aladdin. And then the second one is called Why Me? And it's basically Jafar just going, you know, why is my life suck? That might have been inter- that second song might have been interesting. You can listen to it. It's on the DVD. I will have to listen to it. I can find it for you. I mean, I've listened to it a bunch of times. Uh, we're, coming, uh, we're coming up near to the end of this movie. Well, these movies aren't that long. I know, but it, it it's it's always weird. If you're oh yeah, yeah, your mic got got a little fluffy. Uh huh. Your mic got fluffy. What were you saying? I said, yeah, but when you're a kid, things feel larger than they actually are. Oh yeah. What well, if you have a short movie and make it feel long through pacing? Exactly. Which doesn't make it a good thing sometimes, but sometimes. <laughs> Mm-hmm. No, that is a long movie. Oh, yeah, that's true. That'd be more of a... Uh... What would be a good example of that? I don't know. That's a good question. Well, the long movies are actually pretty long. I mean, you can make a long movie feel short. Uh... Yeah. See? It's in a tower. Oh, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if, if you just said, I'm getting real tired of your shit, Al? Yeah, oh, lucky you were reading the script again. <laughs> I was afraid of that. 
I'm Mr. Rule on High as Salton. And then when you love, I, love, I, love, I love how Jamie literally translates it to on high. Oh, yeah. Literally. <laughs> well, maybe that's what he really wanted. Yeah. Wanted and I wonder to... where the sorcerer part came in. Well, maybe because being Sultan wasn't working out for him because he saw I'd just get respect automatically. Yeah. How does that even work? Just you wish yourself Sultan, like, what, do you, does everybody have to legally follow you? Like, what, is it a change of clothes? Be because reasons. The sorcerer thing makes more sense. Yeah, the sorcerer makes more sense. This just makes, this feels like a waste of a wish. Yeah. Yeah. I think Kingdom Sorry, Hearts, yeah, Jafar's I... wishes in Kingdom Hearts make more sense. Yes. One, find the key hole. Two, kill Sora, which doesn't work. And three, then go with the genie. <laughs> yep. They will never bow to him. They don't bow to him. Well, the thought was about to. My second wish. Do you like Jafar's must... second costume better than the first one, or what? Uh, I like his second costume, kind of. I like the second one just for the movie, but I wouldn't use it full time. I wouldn't either. So I'm glad mostly Kingdom Hearts goes with the first costume. Yeah. And here comes... See, now he's blasting people and doing just tricks. Yep. Poor Raja. This is why I think Maleficent's more powerful than Jafar. Jafar just uses his magic just to go humiliate people. Maleficent would just kill them all and not even bother. Yes. Though, to be fair, Maleficent did get angry, did blast people for just not inviting them to a party. True, but at least she tried to kill them or some stuff. And push came to shove. I, like, I do like this song, too. Yeah. I'm going to use this song in my Kingdom Hearts series, but change the words so it's about Sora. <laughs> oh, come on, don't you want to see Jafar humiliate Sora when he's at his lowest? That would be funny. Whoopee! Wow, he really is powerful. Mm -hmm. Well, he's the most powerful sorcerer in the world now. I think he could beat Maleficent as long as he actually went as far as he could. Mm -hmm. I I don't know. I feel like Jafar's ego and just the way his mind works would get in the way. Probably. Look at this. We're, we're talking about, okay, Maleficent and Jafar got into a fight. <laughs> Jafar's, Jafar's genie mode versus Maleficent's dragon. Well, of course Jafar would win because he's got infinite cosmic powers. It's true. Plus, you know, they couldn't beat Aladdin plus, and return Jafar. Plus, Jafar could always uh, turn into a dragon. No, no, I like Jafar's snake versus Maleficent's dragon. That's better. Oh, uh, Maleficent. Mm -hmm. I made a mess of everything. Yeah. This would be a great time for you to get back instead of talking about it. Yeah, come on, Aladdin. Get a move on. Also, his feet have got to be have to be getting frostbite. Probably. <laughs> this is smart to start digging. Oh, what was your first clue? What was going to happen? Be fair, I probably would have done the same thing. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. You know. I probably would have too. See, oh, look, he's got resourcefulness. Yes, resourcefulness. All right. All right. Back to Agrabah. Let's go. Dun, 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 dun. Must not take that one to get back to Agrabah. So how far? Is, where did you find sent them? The ends of the earth, like Antarctica, North Pole. That's a good question. I think this is what your father would have done all day. Just yeah. Sit. Also, now Jasmine is basically a slave girl. Oh, dear. Not nearly. Well, it's almost worse than the uh, Leia in episode 6. 
Probably. Free ab. Jasmine, Jafar, humans. That's true. Anatomy, man. People, anatomy. <laughs> but to be fair, Jafar is the only Disney villain to get some. A little bit. That's actually really true. In a really sick way, too. Well, actually, he didn't make her do Well, hyperbolically, that's not true. I think. That's why Jafar is in my top three with Maleficent and Frollo. This is hilarious. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Genie. Like, what? Blah. It's like trying to figure it out. Like, wait, huh? Oh, Lord. Even Roger was like, wait, what? He didn't handsome, huh? What? Ooh. You know, everybody likes to ship Maleficent and Jafar. I think that's the thing. That seems really creepy. One time there was a House of Mouse episode where Hades had a thing for Maleficent, so... That would be really creepy. That's actually an episode. That's that's legit. So, also, he wants all these riches. Why? Because riches, they're awesome. Wouldn't you just want to sit around with riches and be lazy all day for the rest of your life? And you can zap people? Never yeah, lie, was just a little more quicker. Oh, he almost... Oh. <laughs> that was... Ugh. Oh, Lord. How many times do I have to kill you, boy? Well, you didn't kill him. He just sent him off. Well, he expected him to die. <laughs> yeah, well, apparently he... He has nine lives. So I gotta ask, since we're here, what did you think of the Kingdom Hearts boss battle for uh, Jafar, the first game? He's really underpowered. His first battle is a lot better. I like the music that plays during his genie battle. Oh, okay. I wish we got more of his genie side here. Yeah. I love the... I, I, think think he... I like how Jafar just being all... It's all, it's all puns at this point. Exactly. Oh, there's the famous sword. Which sword? The sword he uses in Kingdom Hearts. Oh, yeah. Jafar's just puns all the way. Yeah. Why didn't we get to face his snake form in Kingdom Hearts? That's my question. That's a good question. I probably bet they've had plans, but they couldn't do it. Probably. What do you think? Should I have a snake form in the theories? That tell me. That would be fun. Frickin' 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 make the door into the snake. You say, Jafar, Jafar, he's a man. If he can't do it, great! And he lost the sword. What if he just stabs Jafar, Jafar's snake? Well, he does. Oh, yeah, but, you know, he cuts him. Oh, yeah, he does. That's stab. a stab, dude. That's yeah, a... that's a stab. And he didn't take the sword out. The sword's still in there. I mean, he could have... My ego is bad. I don't give a shit. Oh, wait. See? That song strangely describes Jafar. See, that's why, again, I think Jafar's ego will always get in the way of him. Yes. Even Maleficent knows that in the Kingdom of Hearts. Yes. What? I love how Jeannie's like, what are you doing, Al? Why are you bringing me into this? You're right. His power does exceed my own. But not for long. To be fair, this is actually a quite a clever plan. This is a clever plan. See, Jafar pretty much let his own ego get the best of him. Yes. It's all about power, 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 power. Oh, uh, Jimmy's like, all right, your wish is my command. Way to go, Al. I'm surprised Genie didn't think about this as well. Being a Genie... Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it was just circumstances. Now, his this genie looks second. amazing. It scared me as a kid. 
He looks like the devil almost. Looks all red and scary with those teeth and eyes. Yes. Actually, he probably could have destroyed the whole world if he wanted to. He didn't want the world by this point. He wanted the universe. Exactly. Look at him, though. You'll be a genie. You got it. Got it. That's why if you. That's why if I wish to be a genie, I would go. I wish to be a genie minus the rules. <laughs> yeah. See, that's what I would have done, and then I would have gotten out of that. Oh. Any media living space. Moves back to normal. So is the carpet. And now we're getting to the most heartbreaking points of the movie. Where are we at the end? <laughs> Get your blasted beak out of my face. So apparently the Cable Wonders is still a thing. With the what? The Cable Wonders apparently is still a thing. Oh yeah, that's right. So it has to be a thing. Uh, I'm so oh. Wonder what if we, whatever happened to those scarab you know, the scarab that can find it. To the what? The scarabs. Uh the oh uh, you mean the talisman thing? Yeah. I don't know, that's a good question. Maybe they disappeared somewhere. So just say the word and you're a prince again. That was so nice of Jean I like how Genie was willing to sacrifice his own freedom. For his pal. Yeah, this is love. You're not gonna find another girl in a million years. Believe me. Believe me, I know. I looked. He probably looked into the future. Exactly. Well, fun fact in uh, that Sword of the Stone Disney movie, Merlin could travel into the future. Oh, really? I don't know that. He went to Burma. Jeannie, I wish you freedom. One well, butterfly prince. Pretty. What? Huh? This was underwhelming in the Kingdom Hearts game, not gonna lie. Yeah. I mean, granted, it was probably... I get, I get, I, it, 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 character-wise, it was still good, but just the moment itself wasn't that great. No build-up. Yeah. But that's kind of the problem with the games. Just yeah. the bridged version of the movies. Oh, and here comes the Nile line. I'm free. I'm free. But, I love Bob how it can be both funny and dramatic. I want the Nile, see? I want the Nile. Better than Dunnile. Uh, 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 oh, wow. Uh, 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 bad joke. Bad joke. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, and here's the heartbreaking moment. Oh. This is such a great moment. Oh, I know. Did I miss you? Me too, oh. No matter what anybody says. Aww. There'll always be a prince in me. Give you that big old hug. Now here comes the stupid law again. It's that law that's the problem. Now am I salted or am I salted? Are you salted? It took me forever to figure this out. Exactly. Maybe Jafar's hypnotism was Roddy's brain. Yes. And here comes the call me out line. Uh, and Goofy, Goofy. Goofy hat. Ah, uh, group hug. Kiss the monkey. Mm. Can I kiss the monkey? <laughs> here, Bob. I'm going to Disneyland. Oh, this is bye bye, you birds, you love birds. I love how he says, I, I'm history. I'm mythology. He is mythology. <laughs> I don't care what I am. I'm free. Here you think they get married, but actually they don't. They get married in King of Thieves. Yeah, yeah, that's the point. The TV series is their engagement period. Yeah. Fly off into the moonlight. The end. Made you look. Yay! Yay. Land, the best movie, my favorite Disney movie of all time. 
It certainly, it certainly is a great one. So, any final thoughts, Joel? I think it's probably one of the best movies they made. That Lion King, Beauty and the Beast. I don't know anything about Rescuers Down Under, so I'm gonna not judge, but I'm sure that's great too. Those movies are the ones I think in the Disney Renaissance that hold up the most. They stand the test of time. Like I don't. What came after Aladdin? Uh, let me look that up real quick. Okay, what what came after Aladdin? Because I think I think Aladdin was the last great peak. Uh, let's see. Aladdin. It was Aladdin. Uh, Wait, let's see. Did Lion King from before? It was Pocahontas. Uh, it's Pocahontas. It's Pocahontas. So yeah. So Aladdin is definitely like the last of the great Disney Renaissance. Like, the early Disney Renaissance was, like, that was the golden age of that yeah. time period. That, yeah, those were, like, the movies that stand the test of time. Little Mermaid, not so much, but, um, that movie had probably, yeah. like, Little Mermaid, more like the pilot. Like, yeah. the first test run, and then everything after that, from Lion King, from Rescuers to Lion King, Beauty and the Beast, Pocahontas, I mean, not Aladdin. Those were, like, the great ones. The ones that are going to stand the test of time for years. Yeah. And then it kind of falters, even though Hunchback is a little bit of a bump up. Um, yeah. But this movie's always going to be my favorite. I think I like this the most because it's the most for boys. Yes. Beauty and the Beast, Little Mermaid, those are the girls. I mean, I don't like stereo. Not stereo. Not gender casting or anything. You know, I'm just saying. It's the one you relate to the most. Yes. Yes. I mean, I love Beauty and the Beast. Don't get me wrong. I will I watch love that. I love Beauty and the Beast too. But, you know, so, and if you want to see that video, click here. Exactly. Um, which <laughs> I will put a link to. We might, I'll put a link to that. Um, but I like this one a lot. Um, this was the one I related to the most as a kid. Had my favorite, probably one of my favorite Disney villains of all time. He used to be my number one, Kill Maleficent. Um, kind of took that spot. Now he's like two, sometimes one, depending on if I'm on a good day. Um, but yeah, Cole, your final thoughts? This movie, even though I don't have as much history with it as Joel does, it's still a fantastic movie in most regards. Yeah, there are some inconsistencies here and there, but that doesn't bring the movie down. Overall, it's a really stellar movie. Agreed. So, that was another Disney commentary. Um, Till next time, I'm JID123. And I'm Nero Cole, telling you it's a whole new world. And you never had a friend like me.